Mark Zuckerberg's testimony in front of senators yesterday, there were a number of instances where our lawmakers, the very people who are supposed to draft and vote in favor of legislation that would protect our privacy and data, demonstrated that they didn't even really know how the platform worked or how our data is being used in the first place. Now, Think Progress, along with many other news organizations, put together these montage videos that show some of the more ridiculous questions that were asked. And I wanted to share a little bit of that with you today. Take a look. How do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. I see. Is this guy outfoxing the foxes or is he going along with what is a major trend in an information age to try to harvest information for political forces? There are days when I wonder if the Facebook friends is a little misstated. That doesn't seem like I have those every single day. So how many data categories do you store? Does Facebook store? Senator, can you clarify what you mean? How many do you, does Facebook store out of that? Do you store any? Senator, I'm not actually sure what that is referring to. Now my son Charlie, who's 13, is dedicated to Instagram, so He'd want to be sure I mentioned him while I was here with uh, uh, with you. If I'm emailing, emailing within WhatsApp, does that ever inform your advertisers? No, we don't see any of the content in WhatsApp. It's fully encrypted. Let's say I'm emailing about Black Panther uh, within WhatsApp. Do I get a WhatsApp? Do I get a Black Panther uh, banner ad? Senator, we don't. Facebook systems do not see the content of messages being transferred over WhatsApp. Yeah, I know, but that's that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking about whether these systems talk to each other without a human being touching it. Okay, yeah. so that was, I guess, somewhat entertaining, but also very depressing. But I would argue that the most depressing exchange came from Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana. And this line of questioning was amazing because he just kept asking the same question over and over again and getting the same answer. Take a look. So Facebook user, are you, are you willing to give me more control over my data? Senator, as someone who uses Facebook, I believe that you should have complete control over your data. Okay, are, are you willing to uh, go back and, and, and work on, on giving me a greater right to erase my data? Senator, you can already delete any of the data that's there or are, are delete all of your data. Are you willing to expand that, work on expanding that? Senator, I think we already do what you're referring to, but certainly we're always working on trying to make these controls easier. Are, are you willing to expand my right to know who you're sharing my data with? Senator, we already give you a list of apps that, that you're using. And you signed into those yourself and provided affirmative consent. Right. As on I've said user, before, that, we don't share on any that, data on with that user agreement. Uh, are Are you willing to uh, expand my right to prohibit you from sharing my data, Senator? Again, I believe that you already have that control. So, I mean, I think people have that that full control in the system already today. Uh, if we're not communicating this clearly, then that's a big thing that we should work on. Because I think the principles that you're articulating are the ones that we believe in and try to codify in the product that we build. Are, are you willing to give me the right to take my data on Facebook and move it to another social media platform? Senator, you can already do that. We have a download your information tool where you can go, get a file of all the content there, and then do whatever you want with it. So Jenk, jump in. All right, so I'm actually gonna defend the senators a little bit, which is shocking because I almost always go after the politicians. Uh, I'm not very fond of them overall, uh, but uh, in this case, uh, there's a couple of things here. In the first clips, um, I, I don't think the, the questions were necessarily that ignorant. And I think that Orrin Hatch was secretly trying to help him anyway. He asked another friendly question to Zuckerberg. He's basically the point that Hatch was trying to make. And again, I am no ally of Orrin Hatch's. Look, people know that this is not a service that you pay for. and so. Uh, you ha run ads, and in order to run ads, you collect people's data. So it was a softball question rather than an ignorant question. I don't want to break down all of them. The one that was really that didn't make any sense at all was the one asking about data categories. That's not a thing, so he didn't know how to answer it, etc. What Kennedy was trying to do 
but did a very, very poor job of and what he should be mad at his staff for not preparing him better. Is he's saying, hey, can I get my data out? Yes, you can delete it if you want. You can take your data, you can delete it, you can move it to somewhere else. But that's the system they have now. You can opt out and you could say, not only can you take your data out, you could say you cannot use my data, right? But what he should have asked is, will you move to an opt in system where it is assumed that you will not get my data? Only if I affirmatively tell you that you're allowed to have my data, that you could have it for the purpose of sharing it with advertisers, etc. Now, that's a really hard question, and Zuckerberg had to be enormously relieved that he didn't get that question and that Kennedy botched it. And, and, and I, I but actually, one more, sorry, one more defense of these senators, again, that I normally disagree with. Facebook is not that intuitive. If you're an old senator and you go on there between the walls and the posts and the friends and the likes and the this and the that and the opt in and the opt down, you really got to get you know read into that by your staff to begin to understand it cuz these folks are 60 70 years old yeah don't care don't care how old they are there are lawmakers they're the people who are who are supposed to know what's going on they are supposed to know how our data is being misused how our privacy is um you know being violated these are things that they should be educated about because it is literally their job to do it and so look i don't know why your perception is that Kennedy actually had a really smart question in mind, but didn't know how to articulate it. Because I watched the entirety of his exchange with him, and it was one incredibly ignorant question after the other. And I didn't have time to watch the full five hour uh, hearing, but I watched the majority of it, okay? And it was a tutorial session. It was a giant five hour tutorial session because they didn't do their homework. And my problem with lawmakers in general right now is they don't do their homework. They don't read the bills that they sign. I mean, you have Bob Corker whining and crying about how he voted in favor of tax legislation and he didn't necessarily know what was in it. That's on you, homeboy, that's your fault. And so no, 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 I'm not giving them credit. I'm not giving them a pass. They are so incredibly incompetent. Instead of spending all their time fundraising, how about they educate themselves on the very issue that they're calling a hearing for? So now on that issue, some people are saying <clears throat> that um, that maybe the senators, the House was tougher on Zuckerberg, the senators were easier on him with some notable exceptions like Booker and, and Harris, uh, Kamala Harris. Um, or Kamala Harris, sorry. Um, so uh, why, and they're speculating because of money in politics and Facebook has given $7 million to politicians since 2012. I actually think no, that's why the House was tough on them. And, and even Harrison Booker, the amount of money that they have taken from Facebook is among more than, is more than the rest of the senators, but it's still a really small amount. Facebook is worth $400 billion, spending only $7 million in six years is almost nothing. So what Facebook did was they left themselves vulnerable to politicians. So Google on the other hand, and look, I really, really like Google. They're a huge partner of ours. Uh, but they spent a lot of money lobbying and that's smart. So and some of it goes to Republicans and that drives me crazy. And so they don't agree with me on that. They give the Democrats, Republicans, it's not my business, it's their business. I understand that. But if you're asking me, is it politically savvy? Yes, you don't see Google in front of Congress. Facebook, I guarantee you will now crank up their spending and putting money into politics because otherwise you're gonna get grilled. Even if they botch it at the Senate level, in the House they were way, way tougher. And so, and then my final political point on this is Lindsey Graham talking about, hey, turns out voluntary self-regulation didn't work. You don't say, Lindsey. Now, I'll give you credit for pointing that out. <laughs> but. How about the rest of your career where you guys pretended that deregulating everything would make sense? Now all of a sudden, you guys get more money from the telecoms, which are opposed to Facebook. You get a ton of money from the AT&Ts and the Comcast and the Verizons and not much money from Facebook. And all of a sudden, you're super tough on Facebook and think you should do more regulation and that voluntary regulation isn't working out. What a funny coincidence. Well, we also know that Lawmakers who are traditionally known as anti-regulation love regulation when it benefits them and their self-interest. And so right now, as we spoke about earlier, 
you know, you have Republican lawmakers who are absolutely convinced that there's some sort of censorship effort geared toward conservatives. And so damn right, they're gonna wanna regulate Facebook because again, it is their self interest in order to do so. When it comes to protecting consumers, they don't care about regulation. When it comes to protecting what they want and what their political interests are, of course they want regulation. If you like this video, bless your heart. We got a lot more where that came from. We do a full show every day, Monday through Friday. Come enjoy it ad free by becoming a member, tytnetwork.com slash join.